where do we go when it's raining in Devon? Somerset, looking at motorroads. <laughs> Check out some of the latest burstners that are arriving up here at Chelston. And they got these brown graphics on it. A bit mad. Or available in blue. Delphin 727G. different configurations here by the looks of it it's more like it I see how yeah getting a good selection up here at the moment that was a sold one there and these two here TD 745 590 they got the new mark one here as well like that sort of registered one there, Mercedes. We'll have a little check out in a minute. We've got loads of Carthagos down here. We'll go and check some of that in a minute. We've got loads of Swifts over the back, auto trails. It's quite a long one, isn't it? This, this is the uh, 7.5 meters. 7.5 meters. That one's a shorty. Little shorty Lyceo. 6 meters. Just checking out this Carthago on the end they got here. Got the new Mark front end on it. It's a nice tidy bit of kit. It's actually uh, got sold in the uh, in the windscreen. We're just checking it out and just saying what a stunning vehicle that is. C Tour. Very badass wheels. Seven point six meters. Very tidy. I've got the wind. Oh, we'll get that tomorrow. Just having a look around the shop, and they've got all the Malenko super duper lamps here, leveling shops, and we're going to pick up some of these, we think, which are the Malenko grippy mats, which look pretty handy. So we'll get some of them. These guys have got all the gas low European connectors here. Look, absolute mental selection of gas fittings. Pipes. And up there they got so many gas low bottles. European bike carrying reflective warnings. Cable reels, electricals, all the electrical plugs, European connector. So our very good friends here at Chelston are going to let us have a look in this incredible Carthago Chick E-Line. Paul thinks I need it, but it's far too big for us really. But um, this is an absolute incredible motor home, so we're going to uh, check this out in a little, a little bit on a Mercedes Benz. They've just reduced it by ten thousand pounds. <gasps> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it was 153 and now it's down to 144,995. 
so it looks like an absolute bargain to me it looks we're just checking out it looks like it's got the new um sensor so i think it'll automatic braking system on it got a sensor in the front what an incredible looking bit of kit like drum and build quality just waiting for caroline to chuck me grip mats in the in our in our car and then we'll uh, check out the interior the door is open this is all plated up for like five thousand kilos and 8.8.1 .8 meters just catching the door there and we'll just we'll check it out in a minute in the interior when she comes yeah, it's just having a checking out the outside it's got all the um big dometic covers already fitted on the top and bottom Just going to quickly pan around they've even got glass carthago wine glasses highball glasses all in the rack coffee machine oh hang on she's just spotted the coffee machine yeah. and carthago espressos and cappuccino cups all racked in that's what we got in our motor home that is nice <gasps> look at this cupboard just checking out the serious cupboard space in this thing. I'm just going to do a little bit of a look around the front end. This has got all the new Mercedes dashboard on it. Cup holders down here, look. A class motor home. Barometer clock thermometer oh, got the latest two opening fridge and for the freezer compartment that's big that's a nice freezer compartment yeah. open both way access both ways grill and oven up the top there is that a, yeah that's just like a grill up there we never use our grill so all the TV plug-in boxes up there we've got another door that comes out as well look what's all this I think that's cutlery drawer in there there's all loads of big storage drawers they're sort of they come out on a they come out straight they sort of cut like an angle give you space in the kitchen there's another one straight have you seen this curved around. Around. what goes here that Take it's nice three burner hob nice big sink that's a lovely sink yeah. the size of that sink yeah just look at the shower box on this thing rain shower as well as a hose style got this lovely uh, melamine effect Just checking out the toilet door so it swings around and then basically you just lock it off like oh, that to make a big en suite. What that's for that? Because it's got a handle. Um, I'm not sure what that's for. That comes oh, up. Oh look that God. just so that makes it another little door so you can shut off the toilet. Wow. It is really luxurious in here. Little cupboard under there, little storage stuff, toilet. 
excuse my mask <laughs> but uh, yeah check out these lovely storage cupboards up here all the way around really looks like the lighting's pretty superb as well with the lights down here and another cupboard in the corner mask ma um, nice mirror here just checking out under the mattress they got these that springy plastic very neat isn't it yeah. makes it super spongy yeah. super spongy Side. It's a long bed. Big oil and bed in here. Massive. Big wardrobes either side. All storage compartments under the bed. There's even these end little cupboards open out, put your shoes and stuff in. There's a lot of uh, track on the ceiling of this thing because it all goes in different directions. Look at that, that goes right across there. And then this door shuts that off across there. And then there's another sliding door, I think. No, uh, that goes into the shower then, yeah. So that all shuts off. TV up on the, on the door there. No. <gasps> just looking down through the motor, I mean, it just looks so light and airy. It's got these super big hatches. That's what we like, like about our one. It's got nice big hatches. There's plenty of light in. It's got an, um, another bed, a pull down bed at the front. It just pulls down over the seats. The front, A class. And that in there, yeah, all your controls, all the heating, yeah. control, all your displays and stuff up there, tucked away, nice and neat. There's an electric step switch, that's all hidden away nicely. There's a really nice cupboard down here by the kitchen nice. that comes right out, pulls right out. It sort of makes the kitchen wrap around, and you've got your bottle storage down there, and then down here these little pull out even comes with little waste bins little food waste bins all tucked in there and that just literally slides back it's in there way. out of the way and it's still curved right round what's the bottom drawer sir? these are just um, storage big nice straight yeah. is this just your cutlery, cutlery drawer? drawer yeah it's nice isn't it incredible absolutely stunning thing nice these carthagos have got like a little button on the floor so you just step on the little button and just move the table wherever you want it it's yeah. an awesome bit of kit look, look at that, that just like right in the center of the your seating area just put it wherever yeah. you want. Oh, a bit squeaky and i'm not pushing hard enough but um just gonna go around the other way now it's nice to sit down and basically check out the view that you're going to get and this is probably one of the best views the area is just so big all the way round from this window on the corner where I'm sitting on the left all the way around the windscreen right round the windscreen right round lovely all these lovely fabrics on the kit on the um, oh and they got that lovely sort of surround on the kitchen window love that surround and they yeah. sort of separates it off from the yes. the blind area and stuff right. okay I think we're done and that's it just have a look over in there. I'm just going to swing. Right. Leather in this is just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to just jump in the driver's seat a second and check out the position of the drivers. This is, yeah, this is a stunning dashboard. Got the new uh, start stop button. 
And got a nice big pocket on the side here, look. And the A-class. All this is full of poster up. We've got even more cup containers down here. Two cup container, two cup containers in the windscreen. Two cup containers down either side, so that makes sort of eight cup containers in total. Over on that side, you have controls. There's the windows, heated mirrors, yeah, outside light. The there's a USB connector, and there's a 12 volt socket, Euro plug socket there. Yep, you've got a cup holder there. Sorry. Oh, another cup holder. Oh, so there's another. There's one cup holder there. Two, three, four, five on the driver's side, <laughs> and another four on the passenger's side. We're having a party. Checking out, got some beautiful speakers down here. Bet this thing rocks out the sounds. There we go. That's about it. Carthago. Goodbye. All the logos are in the embossed. Carthago, all the lighting up here. Beautiful, absolutely stunning motorhome. Don't know if there's any storage in the floor. Let's just have a look. Oh yeah, what we got down this one? We got a little inspection. That's oh, that's the uh, water tank, inboard water tank, just to access it. And what else we got? Another little pocket in there. Oh, but a shower. What's that one then? Let's have a look in there. Oh, that's uh, another water tank. inboard wastewater tank I should think grey water tank all inboard just checking out as we got out just checking out this Carthago door locking mechanism and literally when you shut the door on this thing it goes well there's a catch at the bottom catch halfway up catch at the top and they literally go, that is shut. That is so secure. The flap on the side, electricity plug in there. There she is. Chick E-Line from Carthago. Now reduced to 144.995. Paul's just taking one back, Carthago Chick E-Line. I'm not going to go in that one today because uh, when we go in and they've got to wipe them round and all the rest of it. So, But he's just taking that back as a um, P PX on something, 67 plate. So uh, I think they've got to put it in their uh, workshop and give it a bit of a once over and get it all spruced up. But uh, another stunning Carthago. We got a nice, uh, got a good selection of uh, Carthagos here. I might just check out that chick sea line over there in a minute. Got some black wheels on it. He's really loving. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving the look of this one. Look at these wheels on this thing. Yeah, got the same, got the same, got the sensor. Chick C line. Just checking out the front of this one. Got the uh, sensor again on there, got a little uh, outside, looks like an outside temperature sensor on the front. That is a very stunning motor on Chick Sea Line.
yeah these cars there you go they got all the uh, storage underneath there look that all like all that locker all the whole lot just pulls right out huge grut garage huge garage on this one Yeah, so it's a wrap from Chelston. We've had a nice little afternoon, having a look around some motorhomes as you do on our day off, and they've got plenty of motorhomes here. But uh, Paul did say that they're they have been literally inundated with people after motorhomes. So um, yeah. So yeah. So there's a good selection of Brosner still up here for sale by the looks of it. You've got to love a Brosner. Just checking out this little six meter van for Bursner. What a tidy little bit of kit. It is, hey, it is a tidy little bit of kit, isn't it? Got a roof hatch up there, all that panoramic roof hatch. Beautiful graphics on it. Yeah, still love a van, absolutely love a van. If you want to go right down to the bottom of Greece, something like that, the tip of Greece, do some trails, <laughs> that's what you want. And that is absolutely beautiful inside. Looks amazing, love it. At the uh, Bursner quality, Bursner badge up there. Man.